Hey, welcome back to Human Star Gaming. This is a game that I did not realize I had not um, reviewed yet, um, but I have played it for quite a bit. Um, came out, I believe it was like the second half of 2019, and um, I played it a little bit there, but at the time it was very, very new. Um, I'm just going to click on these, so hopefully this isn't too annoying as I talk to you. Um, but this is one of those games that basically is a little bit like Clash Royale um, and that kind of kind of thing. Um, but basically, it's like a tower defense where you're on one side and then the enemy is on the other side. And it's a live battle. Um, so you're playing real people and then you're trying to, you know, basically complete the raids and uh, rank up and be the, you know, get as high or highly ranked as possible. Uh, the reason I like this one so much, um, uh, I would say there's there's a little bit of luck because it's it's randomized on um, like the units that you're gonna uh, that you're gonna get. So I mean, Clash Royale is the same thing. It was it was randomized, but you were trying to be trying to get like the most efficient and versatile uh, team in that one. In this one, I feel like. Uh, it's a little bit different. I don't think it's as tactical. It's more of, uh, I don't know how to compare it. I feel like this one's slightly more casual. I felt like the other one, you had to time everything perfectly right. You had to make sure that you had the right, um, lineup against like a couple of their units, or you'd be in really, really like tough spot. Um, this one is a little bit more casual, so you never, you never feel like, oh my god, I absolutely just lost, um, like ten seconds ago. Um, there are some times we are going to get overwhelmed for sure, and and that's different. Um, but I feel like this one sometimes it's luck. Like if you send out your units before they do, and you happen to put the right unit out, you know it really makes a big difference. Um, I feel like the other one is a little bit more aggressive. Um, but either way, I'm um, sorry this is taking so long clicking these things. Um, they are really good about giving you um, little chests. They used to only give you one per day, and then uh, maybe two or three days after that, they'd give you a couple. Now it looks like that you can basically hoard up to 20 at a time. So if you don't play for a couple of weeks or a month or two months, when you come back, you're going to have probably like 20 sitting there, which is really cool. Um, it is very similar to uh, Clash Royale in that it is basically a card game. You collect um, units, which are basically in card form, and then you play the cards, which which plays them on the, on the field. Um, now, you know, this is over a year after it came out. Um, they added a lot more to the game. They have this thing down here, um, which are the different events, and they cycle them out. I believe weekly. Um, so this one has Colossus Awakening, which is super cool. Fight your opponent, take control of the ultimate weapon in Ancient Colossus. You're basically pummeling this Colossus, and every time you bring its health down to zero, it faces the other direction. So you're basically, both of you are basically trying to kill it as quick as possible, so it faces the other direction. Every time it dies, or it like resets itself, um, its health increases, so it's even harder to kill it. Um, so you're still trying to kill their tower or kill their portal in this game. Um, but if you can get this guy strong enough and they can't stop him, then yeah, then you're good. Um, then you have Last Hero Standing, which is exactly what it is. You're, you're basically a battle royale of eight of you and you're paying a, a mini tournament, uh, where all eight of you fight each other and whoever's last standing is the winner. Um, that one you do have to kind of um, stay, you know, stay, keep playing because you have to play all the eight uh, kind of at the same time. So that might take you maybe 25, 30 minutes. So just keep, keep an eye on that. All the other ones are kind of like onesies. You just play whenever you can. Just play a little thing here and there. Capture the flag is super cool. I know I'm doing this backwards, but I will explain how the game works in a moment, just showing you some of the cool stuff. This one is capture the flag. You have three flags on your side. They have three, three flags on their side. You steal theirs, bring it back to your side. Boom, you're good. Um, whoever does it quicker. Solo boss raid. You're just going through a couple little levels, um, and you have this boss that you're trying to knock out. 
and then there's a guild boss raid as well where everybody's working together you get a lot of loot from it for sure um but it is tough um so you really want to have leveled up people and and really optimize um so i'm gonna go over here to the collection so this is where all your stuff is so this is what makes the game super different to a lot of the other games out there. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five different like giants or gods or whatever you want to call them. And that's you. All right. So each one of these has five different spells. And as you can see, you can level them up, make them stronger. Um, some of them need, still need to get unlocked. I think I have just one over here that needs to get unlocked. And as you win, you know, harder difficulty things, you win um, these little uh, cards. Um, like over here on the left, you can see these little cards. Um, so I need 800 of that kind of thing there to level up. If I click this one, I need Reach Book 4 and Campaign. That makes sense. I have not done a lot of the campaign to do that. Um, that was another thing. There was... I don't think there was a campaign when I first started. I think it was just straight up fighting. And then they came out with a campaign with different chapters. And a lot of them actually, as you progress them, you unlock these spells, which is really nice. So definitely start with the campaign. Um, learn some of these things and we'll unlock some of this stuff for you so you can uh, progress smoothly. Uh, when I first played, it was rule. Um, it was basically where you started. And once you leveled up to a certain point, um, you unlocked Valen and you kept going higher and higher and higher. You would get these rewards to unlock these people, which is really cool. Um, I love using Noella now. Um, she's very interesting, but they're all very good in their own way. It gives you five different play styles, which is awesome. So it's not like other games where you have all these minions and the minions make everything. The, these gods actually decide the play style. And when you go up against somebody, as soon as you see their little face icon, you kind of know a little bit about them, but you're not quite sure what spells they bring until they start playing. So this part is really cool. This is, and I'll explain this as we're fighting. Um, this is your minion list. Just like any other game, there's all these cards you collect. You can level them up, make them stronger. Um, on the top left, it tells you the number of mana that you need to be able to put them in play. Um, so that's very common in this type of game. Um, I'm actually going to level this guy up if I can. So you see the little things up here. It says 48 of them. There's different ones for different types of units. So these two units shared the same one. So I can't level her up anymore because I ran out of those, which is fine. Um, these guys use a little red symbol thing, uh, void runes. Um, and you do collect uh, coins in the game, which is how you completely level up to the next level. So this one's like 12,600. So I have it, but I don't have anybody ready to level up. And when you level up, it will randomly level up some of these stats, either attack, health. Um, this one has burning damage that went up to as you keep leveling up. So you do want to level up your stuff. And then I'm just going to click this. Um, I'm level eight, just like in any other game, as you level up completely um, yourself that will increase and then that will um the only thing it really does is it levels up your um your portal like how how much um, damage it will take before your portal breaks um the equipment i have not dived into this too deeply um i usually kind of like auto use them um i know that there are some better than others but I kind of just auto do it. And for now it's been doing fine. So I wouldn't worry about this stuff too much when you start, just collect as much as possible. And then later equip the ones that, you know, might work best for you. Uh, but like I said, I haven't touched it too much. That's also one of the things that they added to the game. Um, and then artifacts, I haven't found anything yet. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm wondering if it's more than that. So let me go to the battle arena which is what you play to go further oh let me get a victory chest they do have this thing here where you know you have all the you have like 30 40 days to complete a bunch of like tasks and stuff and then it will help you out and then there's like a paid version which will get you even better better stuff which is called the free track i always do the free stuff and then there's a victory pass that gets you much better better stuff but that's fine and then down here, there's a victory track. So if you win all those, then you get um, stuff there. 
which is nice. All right, so let's go back all the way to the beginning just so I can show you what it looks like right from the start. And this is how you're ranked by the points underneath. So I've progressed pretty good. Um, I did kind of stall a little bit because it is tough. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, the cool thing is when you're not playing, nobody nobody hits you. So you just keep whatever wherever you were. So the tutorial arena, you have to have zero trophies, which is fine. And these are all the available cards that you can get. Um, so you'll start with like a couple of them. And then as you keep winning and winning, you'll unlock more of them. Um, then in the arena one, you'll unlock those two. So when I first played, some of these unlocked and then you kind of go to the next area and then you're kind of screwed because you didn't collect all of them. It looks like they changed that and all this stuff here is new too. Um, they changed it where if you, um, pass that area, you automatically unlock all of them or most of them. Cause this one is not unlocked yet. I thought I unlocked the guy a while ago. Um, but they're all unique, unique units. You know, obviously as you level up more, there's, uh, there's more. Oh, okay. I think the ones that I won were these ones in the middle here that didn't exist before some of them. Um, so like this guy I haven't unlocked yet. So there's a lot of units, which is really nice. Um, and you just keep progressing, progressing as you keep winning. And then you can, uh, every time you win, you get a, a little chest to, uh, open up. So, yeah, so there's still a bunch of these that I have not uncovered, like those three right there. Um, and then there's a lot more gameplay over here. Oh, wow. This must be like the really high level area. Jeez. Yeah, not, not even close to that. Um, Colossus Awakening is super fun. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick battle arena um, just to give you an idea. So three, four, five, six. So you have 12 slots. When you do the tutorial, they give you a lot less than that. And then they work your way up. You can double, triple, quadruple, whatever you want in there. Um, I use uh, Noella, and then you get to use two. Um, on the bottom left, it says Boosted Minion is Punisher, but I don't have him. So if I had him, um, he would be boosted. Um, all right, so let's do a quick battle. 95% of the time when you're fighting, uh, you are fighting a real person in real time. Uh, there is that 5% uh, time where they cannot find you anybody to fight. Um, and then they have a, uh, a bot for you to fight against that's system generated. Um, most of the time you won't have a clue which one you're fighting. Um, but this actually, this guy is not a bot because he's part of an alliance as you can see underneath there. So that's good. All right. So you have the three lanes. I'm on the left. They're on the right. We're actually using the same, uh, the same hero. And you'll see that I have enough to put one here. So those guys move pretty quickly. Um, one thing you notice is see that halfway mark on the board. Once you, um, once your furthest hero has gone to a certain length, you can summon somebody from that point backwards. So you don't have to start all the way at your, at the end there. So see what I just put there? That was my spell and they just launched their spell as well. So you have archers, you have swordsmen, you have mages. You have all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and you just got to be strategic on where you're throwing these guys. You know, are they uh, helping you or not? Um, a lot of it is defensive, too. This is not a 100% offensive game. Like, you really need to see my guys up here. That's why I'm not worrying about the guy in the top left too much because they're doing so much damage on their own. The little purple dudes are vicious. Um, they die super quickly. Um, but their cool thing is that they duplicate. As you, as you saw there, they duplicated a bunch and did a ton of damage. Um, so all the units definitely have viability depending on who you're fighting against. So it'll take you at least, I don't know, five matches or, or if not more to really understand like what enemies are you going to see the most and what enemies you should try to, um, I mean, sorry, what units you should probably have in your, in your team to be able to help out. Um, but I think the biggest game changer in this game versus other games that are like this has to be these gods here because that completely changes it, which means you can use whatever minions you favor. Um, and then just by switching up the, the god that you're using completely changes the game. 
So like this one right here, what's really cool is he calls down a mallet and stuns and deals damage for three and a half seconds in a pretty big area. And you can level all these up too. They can go all the way up to like level 13, which is crazy. Then there's like this one, which is really cool. Hammer flies through all enemies in lane dealing damage to them. Um, Evolution 2 on the left, which I have gotten, says after the, at level 6, sorry. Um, after the hammer clears the lane, it returns, striking all the men again for 50% of the original damage. So these are really cool. Some of them are defensive. Like this one right here is defensive. Pushes away all minions from our por portal and stuns um, pushed enemies, which is really cool. So that one is really nice if like a bunch of people are right at your portal and you have nothing you can do about it. You can push them all back, and then they get stunned for that many seconds. So that gives you a little bit more time to spring out units and crush them. Um, I don't use Valen that much anymore, so I'm not going to waste my, my money in, in cards to upgrade it. Rule is very good. A lot of people do like to use him because he hits so hard. Um, that's uh, like a burn damage kind of thing. This one increases everybody's... Um, attack bonus so they almost hit like double damage which is huge and it speeds them up um this one tor scorches the whole lane so if you have a ton of little minions like constantly coming down a lane boom scorch them all uh, and then this is one burns enemy close to your portal that one's a pain in the butt so like if you're all the way at the end like exactly what i what i had just done where i had everybody right at the end he could have done that and basically wiped out my whole team and now i have to go back and start from scratch um, I like the freezing ones that I like to use down here. So that one shoots the uh, stuns enemies who come in contact, which I really like because then they stop and then I have to take them out. These do really a lot of damage for the ice spear and it does three down the lane like consecutively instead of like a, like a firebomb or something like that. So if you have one guy that's really way ahead and there's a bunch of people behind him, He'll hit the first guy, and then he'll hit the people consecutively, which I like more than just doing, like, a group of damage. And these are all really interesting. I fought with all kinds of them, and it really changes the game, and that's super awesome. Um, so, I don't know. This is just an introductory thing. This is the campaign here, so it's different books. Like I said, when I was playing this, there was only book one and book two, and it looks like there's way more than that now. I don't know why I did that. Um, so there's a lot more going on here. Uh, Tower of Ascension is really nice, and this this they have a whole season where as you're progressing, you can actually level up your characters, which is really cool, and it's temporary, so it doesn't last forever, and they're always different, so I can start with, with that guy there, um, apparently, I th did I, what does that say, uh, does that mean I can open it? Because <laughs> it's not letting me open it. Who knows? Um, anyways, so you start with a certain amount of uh, points, and then you kind of progress whichever way you want up the three different ways here. And it really helps you because it will buff up um, the units that you have. So I, like I said, I don't play this that often. I usually play in spurts. Um, Colossus Awakening is awesome. I just don't know how long I've been recording. Yeah, that's kind of long. So anyways, um, maybe I'll do that a little later. I'll do a, a, a video of the Colossus Awakening so you can see how that works because that is one of my most favorite. Um, and you keep ranking up, ranking up, ranking up on all of these. And then you they put you in different, uh, different categories and tiers uh, to do that. I am in a guild, but I don't think anybody in here has played in ages. Um, usually a couple people drop off, then everybody else drops off. But I might restart that. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for watching you monster gaming. Uh, like I said before, I have no idea why I haven't talked about this game before. Cause it's super fun. If you like PVP games, if you like, um, tower defense style type games, if you like playing against real people in real time, this is one of the best games. Um, and I'm so glad that they added all this other stuff, uh, before it was just the arena and that was pretty much it. So I'm glad that they added uh, more stuff, and the events are super fun. Everything's challenging. The units are really fun. They're really interesting. You'll see a ton of variety of units coming out um, in the in the campaign. You'll you'll fight uh, face a bunch of different types of enemies, maybe all archers, maybe all heavy hitters, and stuff like that. So they really train you really well. 
uh, there. And I think on the training grounds, they do stuff similar to, to really get you going. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And if you liked the video, please like, and subscribe. And I'll, I'm happy to make more videos on this. Um, but like I said, you might see another video shortly of the Colossus Awakening. Uh, actually, it starts in 14 hours, so I can't do it <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, I'll make, I'll definitely make another video of this game because it's a really, really good game. Thank you.